Welcome back to the channel guys. We have a stack workout today using a medicine ball. Okay guys, this is Mark with Cinder Fitness and like I said, we have a stack workout today. Today is stack 1D and we are using a medicine ball. Now here's the deal. I happen to have this uh, uh, six pound medicine ball right here. Actually, it's an eight pound medicine ball. If you don't, stay and watch the rest of this video. At the end, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and you can make your own so that you can get this workout in. Alright guys, let's jump into it. First exercise is a squat front press with the medicine ball. We're going to do 10 of them. All right, so I pick up my ball and I knock them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Keep those knees behind the toes, extend those arms out, tall posture, even though we're in the squat position. All right, we hit that one for 10 reps, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rest a little bit, and they're gonna repeat it. Remember, the stack is A, A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, so forth and so on. All right, let's go ahead and repeat that guy, and let's go ahead and let's add our next exercise. The next exercise is gonna be squat, medicine ball, raise. So now we're gonna go hit our squat overhead raise. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so we keep repeating these guys and we keep adding them. Next exercise, after our rest, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do follow the bouncing ball. Right along, now it's time to do follow the bouncing ball. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Heart rate's starting to get up there. Hopefully yours is too. We're going to move on now. We're doing the alternating reverse lunge with a trunk twist. Now remember, you're going to keep that ball in front of you, and you're going to rotate into the side of the forward leg. Ready? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. You don't got to do the panoramic. Eight, nine, and ten. So now we're on to our number five spot. And this is froggy hops with an alternating touch. So that means my right hand is going to touch the ball and it's in the middle, then my left hand. I'm going to pump these guys out also for ten repetitions. All right, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now we have our last addition to this stack, okay? And we are doing our ten burpees to alternating offset push-up. One, two, three, four, keep alternating, five, six, get as low as possible, seven, eight, nine, Last one, and 10. Awesome. Okay guys, so we are now gonna go ahead, we're gonna put the entire thing uh, in sequence. This is our last stack, and we are going to pump them all out. All right, so let's go ahead and let's hit it. First, squat, front press. One, two, three, four, five, Six, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. Seven, eight, 
Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Follow the bouncing ball. One, two, your leg should be done after this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse lunge with a twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, woo, eight, nine, and ten. Froggy hops with an alternate touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh man. So here's the last of the last. We have our burpee with an alternating push up. I'm gonna adjust the camera here just real quick. Okay, let's get at him. One, two, three, four. Gotta love those burpees. Five. Six, seven, woo, mama, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Oh, man. All right, so there you have it. That's our stack 1D. We're using a medicine ball, six exercises repeated in sequential order. And what I would advise you to do is go ahead and follow along as best as you can. But if you go to the last segment where we put it all together, if you want to, you can just use that after you get to the first exercises and then just repeat them, pause and repeat while you watch the video. Okay, so what if you don't have a medicine ball? What are you gonna do? Check it out. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make ourselves a medicine ball. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a ball, like a soccer ball or a bouncy ball or something that's gonna be of a size that you, you're gonna wanna work with. And just remember, you're gonna fill this up with playground sand. So depending on how much sand you put in there in the ball uh, will determine how heavy it is. If you put too little bit and the ball is actually kind of flimsy, there'll be deformation on the ball and it'll be maybe hard to grab. So I would suggest a soccer ball. Okay, so I brought along my cutting board. Um, I have just thrown some playground sand here inside this bucket and I have a scale. So, but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sacrifice up to the gods this little soccer ball. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab out my knife, make sure you're safe. And I'm gonna go ahead and just slowly push it in there. <coughs> Obviously, stab you part down business end away from you okay please be very very careful all right once I get done with that I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna make another cut just enough to where ooh, like butter just to know where I can open this up and be able to fit my funnel this is a little Gatorade bottle that I cut it's just gonna go right in there Okay, now, my goal for this project is to make this ball about maybe 10 pounds, okay? All right, let's get our bucket here, and let's start filling it. All right, so that's about three quarters of the way full. Let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's test out that weight there. And this thing has definitely seen better days. All right, we're just gonna keep filling.
There we go. That's pretty good. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to make sure that this part that's round is stays kind of round. So it doesn't look that bad, right? Let's get our duct tape. Going with the digi camo today. All right, there you go. So super simple and easy. It's not perfect, but hey, we live in imperfect times. This is about eight to 10 pounds. It's very solid. You can go ahead and definitely get a solid workout with this. Um, and this is up for grabs, this and two more. The first three Cinder Fitness members that like and share uh, and, and, and on Facebook and post to me on Facebook and comments, I will go ahead and build you this and I will sanitize it and I will bring it to your house. All right, so that you can go ahead, you can do medicine ball related workouts like the stack one we did today. Hey guys, thanks for watching Cinder Fitness videos. Um, please leave comments down below. Let me know what kind of a content you wanna watch or if you have any questions about anything. Um, do like, subscribe and share. As always, I thank you very, very much. Let's stay safe out there. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.